For veteran Mocha users, you may be asking the question, where is the copy and paste button for the new Mocha AE CC 2019? We have good news for you. The button isn't missing, but since Mocha AE CC 2019 launches as a plugin now, our exports have been transformed in a new way to apply the data, like a caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. These new buttons can be found back inside your Mocha AE plugin interface right in your AE Effects Editor. The Mocha AE plugin interface allows users to apply shapes or tracks with the single click of a button. No more copying and pasting or pasting in data on the wrong frame. Mocha's plugin interface allows seamless data conversion between Mocha and After Effects. You still track and roto objects as normal inside the plugin, then save and close Mocha AE CC. To apply shapes or tracking data, simply open the Effects Controls panel in After Effects, twirl the Mocha AE CC effect down, and then either create AE masks to apply shape data, or create track data to apply the tracking data. To apply a corner pin or tracking data to another layer, you can simply select the Export option in the drop-down menu, and then select the layer you want to export the data to in the drop-down menu. Select your source, and apply your export. So let me tell you exactly how this works. First, controlling tracking data. If you have a tracked layer in Mocha, you can see the output of its surface back in the After Effects interface. Each point in the tracking data section is a point from the layer surface that automatically updates when you modify it inside of Mocha. To choose a layer to create tracking data from, click the Create Track Data button in the Tracking Data section of the plugin. Then choose the layer you want to read tracking data from in the dialog that appears. You can only choose one layer at a time. Once you click OK, the plugin will generate keyframes to populate the tracking parameters in the plugin. You can then use this data to copy to other layers or link via expressions. Applying tracking data exports to other layers is just as easy. The plugin interface also allows you to apply tracking data to other layers without needing to export from the Mocha GUI. To do this, you generate the tracking data from a layer as described above in controlling tracking data. You can then choose an export option at the bottom of the tracking data section. Your first option is a corner pin, which is a standard corner pin effect. Your second option is a corner pin that supports motion blur, which is a corner pin distortion with separate scale rotation and positioning. Your third option is a transform, which exports scale, position, and rotation only. Clicking Apply Export then copies the information to the specified layer. Now let's talk about controlling mats. Once you have tracked layers in Mocha, you can then control the mats for those layers back in the plugin interface. View Mat shows the black and white mat from the Mocha layers chosen. This is very useful if you want to see any problems with the mat or if you want to use the output as a track mat. Apply Mat applies the chosen mats to the current layer. The Visible Layers button launches the Visible Layers dialog so you can select the layers you want to see as mats. The Shape drop-down menu lets you switch between all visible and all mats. All visible mats are controlled by the Visible Layers dialog. Using the Feather option applies a blur to the mat. This feathering is independent of the feathering of the individual layers inside of Mocha. Invert Mask inverts the currently visible mats. And Create AE Mask creates native AE splines of the effect layer just like Paste Mocha Mask used to. To learn more about Mocha AECC, visit us at borisfx.com.